Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here, Texas Barn Dominiums. So I'm on Barn to 163 one more time. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you another update. We have the cabinets installed. We started on the trim work, and uh, some work has also been done to the fireplace. So the reason we're here today is we're gonna do the railing on the second floor, but I figure I would give you an update uh, on how things are moving along here. Another thing, we made it over the 2,000 subscriber line, which I'm very excited about. As you know, those of you that have been with us from the beginning, uh, the first thousand subscribers happened really slow. Once we hit 1,000, it didn't take long to get to uh, 2,000, which I'm very excited about. However, <laughs> if you remember at the beginning of the year, I, I said uh, I set a goal of 100,000 for the year. Uh, we're already past the first quarter, which means that we are slightly behind schedule because we're at 2,000 and we should be at about 25,000 right now. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't. All right, so let's start in the kitchen. Here's the uh, island. It has cabinets on this side, cabinets around the front, and more cabinets around the side. Here's more cabinets. These cabinets are all gonna get painted. Painter's gonna be here next week. The ones over there on the right, these right here, those are going to get glass. Here's where the sink gonna be, right in front of the big window. More cabinets, and here's the floating shelves. We, we haven't finished installing them, but we'll get that done in the next couple of days. So here's the fireplace. It's all built out of metal. Pretty neat. So here's what the sealed floors look like and we showed you how to do that in a different episode. Let's go look at the rest of the house. So here's one of the closets. Here's the bathroom. Floating shelves right over the toilet. More cabinets. There's another walk in closet. Lots of cabinets. Lots of shelving, too. Like I said, we're going to paint all these cabinets next week. So they're all going to get painted. Here's the laundry room. Anyway, let me go show you upstairs. Oh, the other thing I didn't show you is all the trim work. You can see it's already uh, been done, a lot of it. We haven't done the upstairs yet. So we haven't done the uh, trim up here because we need to do the flooring first. After the flooring's done, then we'll do the trim. But before we do the flooring, we need to do the railing. And that's what we're here to do today. So the railing that we're gonna build is gonna be 42 inches tall out of two inch uh, square tubing. So then we're gonna get some 316 stainless steel cable and we're gonna put them every four inches. So it'll, it'll make a pretty nice railing. After the trim guy's done, we're gonna bring the painter back and then we're gonna get the painter to paint the railing while he's painting everything else, hold the trim. So it'll, it'll be real nice when we're done. Okay, so we finished the first face of the railing. We got all the uh, framework up. Um, if you notice, all the holes are already drilled. And uh, next thing, we're gonna have the painter come and paint everything. And once it's all painted, we're gonna get the cables and we'll put all the cables up and it'll be done. 
Here's all the holes that we drilled. So we didn't weld it all the way. We just tacked, well, we just ran a small bead on the bottom. What we're gonna do when the painter comes back is we're going to bondo all these joints right here. All these small joints right here. We're gonna use uh, bondo. We're gonna sand it all, and then once it gets painted, it'll, it'll look real nice, so. Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, I'll show you the rest of it when it gets painted. So as you can imagine, the purpose of this railing is for uh, safety. But you know, we're gonna try to make it look good as well. But you know, it's pretty tall from here. I mean, if you were to fall from here, it wouldn't be a good thing. Ah! <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> anyway. See you next week.